Senegal is one of the West African countries, which is bordered by Guinea, Bissau, Mali, and Mauritania. There are 15.4 millions of population in 2016, and 95% of them are Muslims. Senegal is known for its major exports, such as fish, petroleum, and cotton. Senegal is also a member of West African Economic and Monetary Union. There are four Islamic banks in Senegal, which are Faisal Islamic Bank of Senegal, Islamic Investment Company of Senegal, Sosa Al Aman, and Bank Islamic de Senegal. The first Islamic bank in Senegal was established in 1983 and there were interests shown by private and government sectors on Islamic financial system offered. There are several well-known banks in Senegal. Islamic Bank Senegal was established in 1982 in the form of a public limited company under Senegalese law. It intends to contribute to the economic development due to the implementation of its services based on Sharia principles. In 1983, another bank was established which is Faisal Islamic Bank. By the efforts of monetary union, grant exceptions are given to Islamic financial institutions. This led to the establishment of Islamic Investment Company in Senegal. Next, Salama Assurance, which formerly known as Sosa and Aman in 1993 has provided insurance not only according to Islamic prescriptions but also has a greater openness to the international. Salama serves its services through a boundless network so that the geographical could be expanded to all states. All West African countries, Senegal is needed for the Islamic financial system. The first Islamic bank in Senegal is Islamic Bank of Senegal that was established back in 1993. After that, the development of Islamic banking system was very low for more than 20 years until Kamen Africa Holding was founded back in 2009 as a key to expand the Islamic finance. In 2011, Islamic Development Bank started to analyze the regulatory framework. Later, new EMI countries began to focus their attention on Islamic financial products. In 2014, Senegal became the first West African country to issue SOKO. In 2017, the investment started to get injected into African continent. By looking at the trend, we can see that Islamic finance in Senegal is still in its beginning. However, the use of Islamic banking is expected to grow as the government attempts to boost the supply of Sharia and companies. Oh, today, I would like to present to you about the product and services of Islamic banking in Senegal. First of all, is Takaful. In the World Takaful Report, Africa Growth Takaful Premiums amounted to USD 540 million in 2012. The most important in Africa ranks and as the third largest in the world after GCC and Malaysia. That study requires a minimum investment of regulated reserve in government bonds which are interest bearing and therefore Sharia non-compliant. Secondly is Suku. Senegal is days away from launching Sub-Saharan Africa biggest Suku with the 208 million bond expected to receive strong investor demand. The four-year instrument which has an annual 6.25% profit margin is targeted at banks and institutional investment in the eight members West African There are some laws and governing bodies that governing Islamic banking and finances in Senegal. The steps taken by the government to build a safe and convenient way of doing business are at the forefront of the national strategy. However, it is often handled in civil courts. Decree Law 2014-1653 of 2014 addresses the issue by setting up an ombudsman to resolve problems involving post offices, microfinance institutions, and banks. As the current law is influenced by the Constitution Acts and Rules, there is no discussion of Sharia. So this rule views Islamic and conventional finance fairly. So Islamic finance is not treated differently and is subject to current legislation. From our research, we have identified two major issues that need to be addressed to ensure the development of Islamic finance in Senegal. The first one is information gap, where financial literacy as well as awareness uh, pertaining to Islamic finance and its mechanisms still remain unsatisfactory. The World Bank Growth Financial Capability Survey in 2015 revealed that more than two thirds of respondents fail or struggle to perform simple numeracy tasks, and 93% of them uh, claim that they do not use Islamic finance products because they do not know about them or the institutions offering them. The second issue is pertaining to the 
regulative framework that governs like finance in the country. Similar to other African countries, um, the laws of Senegal were not designed to facilitate the interest-free and asset-based Islamic finance. As a result, issues like tax regulation issues, bank liquidation and insolvency issues, as well as property rights issues have arisen. And all this may impede the development of Islamic finance in Senegal. In conclusion, it can be seen that Senegal shows a positive development in Islamic finance and bans from 2009 until 2018. As we know, the Islamic finance in Senegal use a Sharia principle. By using this principle, they will be avoided from usury. It is because usury is prohibited in Islam. As stated in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 275, Therefore, it is very important for government and also individuals to raise their awareness and also knowledge about Islamic financing. As a result, a government can provide a proper regulation about Islamic finance and individuals will apply Islamic finance in their transaction.